Just, uh, just the way we competed. You know, we've been talking about that um, most of the conference season, just taking our, taking our work ethic to understanding going from working to competing. And, you know, our guys have just figured that out. I think there's a different level. You can talk about work ethic uh, all you want, and that, you got to establish that. And I think our guys have done that. But then when you talk about competing, um, that's a whole other level. And I think we're at that level. We've won five road games in this league in a row. I mean, it's um, and in really tough environments, and this one was included. Um, you had two teams tonight that are playing really good basketball, um, and we win both halves. We put together a really good 40 minutes. Our bench was great. Uh, our starters did a lot of good things. We just got a lot of good production out of a lot of guys. And uh, I've said it all along, Trey Coleman should be Defensive Player of the Year in this league. Uh, he does it every single night. And... Um, but um, just a, a tremendous defensive effort, and we made uh, made shots, made threes again. You know, so we've been a, a team all of a sudden that becomes a three point shooting team. Did you think that was your best defensive performance in the interior? The way that you guys handled the size, the depth that Boise State possesses. Yeah, this league's physical. Um, you know, San Diego State's extremely physical. Boise's physical. We're physical. Um, Colorado State, I think, is is very physical. Uh, we're going to play a very physical athletic team in UNLV on the weekend. But uh, to get 12 wins, um, you're, you're possibly fighting for a championship. You know, if, if New Mexico can help us on the weekend and we get a win, then we're cutting down nets. And our guys have worked awfully hard to put themselves in that position. We're going to be sold out. Lawler should be uh, a lot of fun for our guys to play in come Saturday. Talk about Hunter McIntosh, six for six nice. from the outside. How happy are you for him, just the way his journey has played out? I mean, coming here as a transfer, hurting his knee, yeah. didn't really get to contribute last year. Even this year, you know, really didn't find, like, his role off the bench, and now he certainly has found it. Yeah, it's uh, I couldn't be more ecstatic uh, for a young man because nobody works as hard as Hunter, as Hunter does. And, and his unselfishness last year of just working hard to get back, um, you know, and it's sad because that – had he known the rules and everything were going to change, he could have just set out last year and come back again next year. But he's just such an unselfish individual. And this whole team is so proud and so happy for him because they know what he's been through injury-wise. They know how hard he's worked. And um, well, we can, we got to have him out there. He He's driving the ball well. He's handling the ball well. He's just making shot after shot. He's playing at a very high level, and that's obviously helping us. You told us uh, before this game how important quad one wins are, and you find that to be the most important metric when it comes to an NCAA tournament resume. You have seven quad one wins yeah. now. How big is that? Uh, I think it's huge, and, and I've told our guys. Um, we've stamped it. Uh, now let's try, let's try to win a league. And all along we've talked about winning a league, and we're one game from it of having a chance. Now we don't get the opportunity to play Utah State just by the scheduling. We're going to have to get help. But now I think what well, we're tied with um, UNLV, tied with um, and Boise, San Diego State's behind us now. So there's three of us tied for second, you know, and there's a lot that still has to happen this weekend. And we're playing, we're just like tonight, we were playing the other team in our league that was really hot. Now we're playing the next team in our league that's really hot, and that's UNLV. Keenan Blackstreet came back from injury in this game. Uh, what did you make of the way that he was playing coming off of missing two games? Again, just so pleased with him. Uh, he's he's just been competing like crazy just to get back. And calf strains are usually a two-week injury, minimum, and he got back in a week. So it tells you how hard he's worked to get back. Mike, our trainer's done a terrific job with him with just his rehab. And to get him back for this game was huge. And, you know, obviously a little rusty, but – Plays so hard, makes good plays, got the ball to where the ball needed to go and made big rebounds for us and controlled us when we needed to be controlled. And uh, I just thought uh, everything's worked out well. He got some rest through his injury, and we were able to get uh, TR out there some, get Hunter out there some. These guys are playing with a lot of uh, confidence now. I thought T. Pope came in and did a lot of good things off our bench. Uh, Jared did what he does in scoring. Daniel was terrific uh, in, re in not just rebounding, but how he guarded. Um, and I've already mentioned Trey, how hard he, I, he's just, a, he's hands down, my, in my opinion, the best defender in this league. And he, he did it and proved it again tonight, made things really hard on him. And um, KJ and Nick battled like crazy. So it was just a really good team effort. Our bench was lively and uh, couldn't be happier. A huge road win. In this crowd, I mean, I just, just, they just seemed frustrated the whole game, defensively. And, I mean, just the crowd was booing the whole time. How, how were you guys just able to, to frustrate them? They just seemed like they lost their composure a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's just two really good teams battling. You know, they, 
we don't like losing at home and they got us at home. And so that, that was a tough one. And we had a chance to respond and get us another road win. And I think what Curly had six, so, so, six, six in the league, seven, you know, we're, six, yeah, you know right. we've ended up six and three on the road in this league. So you win six road games in this league, you've done a lot of good things. And now we got to finish it at home, but uh, just so happy. So proud. These guys have put in so much time, so much effort. Um, and we've really been on a roll since, um, losing by one point. You know, we've gone now, I don't know how many games, 10, 11 games where we won 10 out of 11 or nine out of 10 and only lost has been a one point game. So uh, these young men have done a tremendous job over the last month and a half.